thing that y'all out there, y'all never want to do is underestimate yourself. So, you know, I hear a lot of people out there, they say the word, I can't. I can't should never be in your vocabulary. You can do anything you want. The word should always be, I can. Once you tell yourself that you can't, you're already defeating yourself. You already got that negative energy. Also, there's a lot of people out there that, you know, they're trying to work hard, trying to put in that work, whether it's the gym, whether it's, you know, trying to be successful, make money. They have the negative people that's in their lives that surround them. What you need to do is drown them out. And what I mean by drown them out, I mean anything negative that they have to say telling you that you can't or trying to hold you down, let that go through one ear and out the other. Just because they're negative doesn't mean they gotta push the negativity off to you. So, the word I can't should be removed from anybody's vocabulary. Like even with my clients, if I hear the word I can't, that's 20 extra push-ups. You can do that, you can do whatever you want. You just put your mind to it. mentality you're basically gonna take your, your your dream your goal farther than you thought you would ever take it because you're going in with positive energy and nothing's really holding you back so you're basically all in so if you think you can you say you can then you will do it because you're gonna go in with that positive energy so take me for example me growing up, I was an athlete. A lot of you guys didn't know. I was a soccer player. I played soccer like for about 18 years. Um, my junior year, I was at a tournament with scouts. And in front of all those scouts up in NorCal, I ended up tearing my ACL. I tore my whole ACL, like every ligament in there. Um, when I went in to get it checked out, the doctor told me that if I get the surgery, I'm not going to be able to get back on the field or run track for at least a year. So, you know, I went and got the surgery anyways. When I got the surgery, I wasn't down at all. I honestly, I had rehab. I went hard on my rehab. I had rehab on the side by, you know, by a therapist. And I also was rehabbing on my own. I was out there on that track. I was trying to get it. I, I didn't want to give up. I wanted to play. So. What happened was, instead of a year, I was back out there on the track field in about three months. So, I was, there's living proof of that. So, you know, right here. And the only thing that you, you should ever tell yourself, I can't do, is give up. 